Hello everyone, welcome back to landscaping. We'll be starting off the week doing some mowing. We'll be heading over to the shop this morning in the 2016 GMC 1500. Today we have 10 lawns on the list, both a mixture of commercial and residential. Today we will be using the walker mower along with the utility trailer. And for the first time we'll be putting this GMC pickup to work. Although this GMC 1500 is pretty much a grocery getter for me and just a drive around town, it is still work truck and I really want to uh, see how it does towing the trailer today. Over the last 3-4 days we've gotten quite a lot of rain and I thought uh, we'll be getting going earlier this uh, week with the lawns. I also be having a few extra people helping out this week since the lawns are just so tall and all of them need to be cut. If you guys do enjoy today's content, please drop a like, it's much appreciated here as it helps out with the channel. I'm really excited to be back here putting the blades to the grass and getting all these lawns cut here. Lawn care is a big part of our uh, company here. We do, I would say, almost 70 lawns a week and we are very busy. But today, we have a second crew going out. So I thought, why don't we take the GMC and do about 10 ourselves there. Pretty much just put a dent in the brand new GMC to us. Hopefully, uh, we could get that buffed out and we'll put the wire in. Looks like we're all ready to go here for us, and I really do like the small trailer. It's perfect uh, just to bring a lawnmower and uh, the leaf blowers and everything like that. So far, we've had a very busy season, lawn after lawn, job after job, and we do have a few uh, job videos coming up this week as well, which I can't wait for. You guys have really, really been enjoying both the lawn care and also other projects we've been doing. Now I thought since uh, it's only going to be us today, I, th I think the walker is one of my top favorite mowers, so we'll be using this. Now I am looking at getting a rear discharge walker mower as well, I can't wait for that. That's going to be a ton of fun to get and to try out, and even compared to the bagger, and this will be very busy coming this fall. We have so much leaf cleanups already scheduled and already on the books ready to go. And I think I might have a shop tour coming soon or even a kind of a shop organization than the tour. I really want to do a tour uh, once we get everything kind of uh, situated, organized, and uh, right before we get even busier with the fall cleanups. If you guys are stopping by for the first time, I do ask that you please subscribe. It's much appreciated here as we are growing faster and faster. Now we picked up this GMC pickup, I would say probably about a month ago now, and I've been just driving around pretty much as a grocery getter is the best way to put it. Uh, that's kind of what I'm calling it, and uh, so far it's doing a pretty good job. I think this truck could easily tow 9, 10,000 pounds with a big old 6.2 liter V8, but uh, definitely going to have to look into that. So the lawns we are mowing is this restaurant and then the one right next to it, and then uh, we'll, we'll see where the time is, but we'll just park along this side here. I think what we'll do is we'll mow both and then we'll hop out and do some weed eating. I think it's probably going to be probably an hour's worth of weed eating. And we do also have a leaf blower with us. I hope everyone's uh, had a great weekend. Mine was pretty cool. I did a few projects here at the house and I did uh, some pretty cool things with friends. But let me know how your weekend was and uh, this week will be a pretty awesome one here for the channel. I'm very close to revealing the big surprise here that I've been working on. I can't wait for it, and that it will be coming soon. And I think we'll have some multiplayer content this week as well, along with Heavy Rescue, and we will be back with more GTA 5 videos. Now I am a big fan of the walker mower, that built in bagging system is so helpful for us. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, where it's shooting out the side of the deck and also it leaves a much cleaner cut in, in my opinion but also the walkers have such good striping capability. Let me know down below in the comments guys what is your favorite lawnmower that I've used. I, we've used so many cool brands and I do want to demo one. Maybe uh, this week we'll pick up another demo. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Now this landscaping season like I have touched upon, we've had a really successful one. We've been reinvesting into the company doing quite a lot of upgrades and it's uh, getting better and better here for us which is awesome. I can't wait uh, for this winter as well. We'll have help um, uh, plowing and we'll have big uh, crews, four or five people going out uh, and uh, pushing snow.
Now this walker mower here is very efficient. One of my favorites uh, for that as well, a 52 inch deck, but I can't wait to get that new uh, rear discharge. I believe it's a 72 inch deck as well. So that will be pretty cool. And I really want to try that out. I always just like getting new things here in farm sim and uh, new mowers is, is kind of like a new toy to me. Now if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go stop over to my Instagram and check it out. And I will be back live streaming soon. I'm trying to find a day that works best. And that would be a ton of fun to get back to streaming and having you guys interact uh, live with me and possibly join me as well. And I am also looking at getting uh, farms for the Xbox and maybe doing some Xbox series. I think that would be a pretty fun thing to do. Although mods are limited on that game, I do have some pretty cool ideas on what I could do uh, with the mods that are available. Now the walker so perfect right alongside the out front deck design is one of the reasons why I picked up the big grasshopper. Oh, we could have taken that, but I, we haven't really used the walker that much. This lawn here isn't too big and one of the biggest things here with the lawn care company is I really want lawns that are right next door to each other. That way we don't have to be driving around town for hours on end and uh, this one uh, being right next door. I think half of our entire uh, list is kind of next door or across the street, kind of the next door neighbor. Now I really do wish there was a way here for us to empty out the walker uh, bagger system. That would be so cool having the high lift feature on and so many cool things that I really wish we could get here in the game but we're just kind of limited with what we have. Now it definitely would be uh, fun to do some more collabs here with the other farms and YouTubers. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see that. That would be a lot of fun to do. Right around the building, no problem here for us. Now the walker is also a little bit of a different control, which is kind of nice to just kind of switch it up. Over the next few weeks, we will start to prepare for the fall season. I can't wait for it. It's going to be a busy one, and we need to have all the equipment ready to go here for us. That's going to be a lot of work. We need uh, so many leaf blowers, leaf vacuums, and we need to get the dump truck equipped, things like that. And then after that, it is winter, so it's never ending here for us. And then kind of during the winter, uh, we kind of get to relax quite a bit more until we get lots of snow. And the temperature where I am has been really warm. I would say almost uh, mid-90s to uh, almost 100 degrees out. So it's been really warm. And I've been just kind of inside doing projects here. But been doing a lot of behind the scenes for the channel. Using the G29 steering wheel here is perfect for uh, the uh, zero turn mower. It's pretty awesome. I could really control uh, the uh, throttle here with the uh, pedals. But like I have touched on, I really uh, want to use all the equipment we have. I really don't want it to sit around and collect dust. And that was kind of what I was thinking. I was like, do we use a GMC for work? But it's a work truck. Uh, the company technically owns it. So I thought, why don't we uh, see how it does doing uh, some lawn care? Because that's pretty light. Uh, a mower in the trailer is probably only four or 5,000 pounds tops. Let's finish off over here and then just a little bit more. Now the weed eating is going to take a long, long time here for us, but that's always why I try to do it after and try to do as much as I can with the mower. Now I do want to do some more time lapse videos and I am still working on the farming series. I found a few new uh, maps and some new mods that I've been considering and really want that to be perfect uh, before I kind of reveal the new series. Now one thing about the walker, if you don't remember uh, that you have, uh, I would say, 3-4 feet behind you, you could pretty much uh, scrape it right up against a house, damage the siding, or even uh, take out a mailbox, and that is something we do not want to do.
But the walker will be used, I would say, uh, the, uh, most of its ownership during the fall leaf season. Maybe we'll have to rent another one uh, during that because we have so much lawns. Or we'll put a bagger on ours. And I think we actually put a bagger on one of ours uh, that's at the shop. So we'll have to kind of find that. Maybe it's in uh, kind of the back corner. So we'll have to uh, get that. And I really want to use some more equipment before the season's over. I always like getting jobs that really uh, have us use uh, equipment that we don't use too often. Lots of mowing for today, and we still do have eight more lawns to do. And uh, I think we still have, I would say, three more commercial, and then the rest are residential. I try to section it so we do all the same ones in that area that day. That way, we aren't just driving across town. And we do have to go to the next county over for one day. And I think we're already up to almost 11 lawns over there. We'll have to bring three mowers and an extra person. But there we go, guys. We got it all mowed here, which is awesome. Let's kind of get it loaded up. And let's get going here on a weed eating. Now, I don't see much weed eating to do here at the uh, restaurant area. Just around these uh, few trees here. And we'll get the weed eater out and just kind of go right around. Perfect. And I also do want to do a nice edge right alongside the driveway. Now, I find that this is kind of the best weed eater here for me. The other one's just a little too tricky. A little bit too much work to kind of get it up and off the trailer. Although that works. And this one is just kind of for the role play. This is a lot easier in my opinion. would go right around the house. Uh, look at that. Just weed eating. No problem as well. So that looks to be good there. And around this uh, small barn. Now we are taking jobs that are getting bigger and bigger here for us, which is a ton of fun as well. I can't wait uh, for what's to come with the landscaping company. So many things and uh, the equipment that we have is going to be put to work quite a lot. We'll do there. That tree looks to be good. And I think there's, uh, uh, let's see over here. There's just a little bit. Yeah, we'll do a little bit. That looks to be good. And that's it here. So let's put this back here in the bed and let's get to the leaf blower. Perfect. And we'll just kind of blow it down. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video. Getting to use the GMC 1500 our first day. Really putting it to work. The uh, so-called ghost Getter. And we got to use a walker mower here with a single axle utility trailer. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.